recording right now. <laughs> Did you record us going through the, the whole list of Bourne movies? Some of it. Well, let's recap it then. Okay, so... I don't Born remember. Legacy. Born Legacy. Born Supremacy. Born Ultimatum. And then Born Identity. Is that the order, like, working backwards? Uh, I think it's Identity, Supremacy... Ultimatum. Ultimatum and Legacy. Legacy. All right. Okay. So, uh, Matt, you got an intro? <clears throat> oh, good intro. <laughs> 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 All right. So this was episode 23, or as we refer to it, the number 23. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Special this guest star, <laughs> Jim Carrey. The ghost of Jim Carrey is here with us today because his career is effectively dead. No, until Kick Ass 2 yeah. comes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, until Dumb and Dumber 2 comes out. Nah, fuck that. Kick Ass 2 will come out before that, number one. But. Well, duh, but that's what I'm saying. Kick Ass 2, his career will still be a little bit alive. When Dumb and Dumber 2 comes out, that career is going to yeah, the that toilet. Will be, that will. Oh, no, no, I doubt it. <laughs> that movie will probably make $500 million. <laughs> <laughs> probably will. It really will. Just because the American public fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. <sighs> Alright, so this is the number 23. This is our special bad luck episode. Yep. Filming it live on, f- uh, on Friday the 13th. Yep. Uh, With a room full of black cats. Black cats and ladders. And ladders everywhere. <laughs> Just everywhere. <laughs> Broken mirrors. Yeah, we'll be breaking mirrors in this one. Yeah. They're, we'll be throwing yeah, salt. Yeah, they have to be full mirrors and then you break them. Okay. We won't be throwing salt. That's no, to reverse that's right. it. We'll be, we'll be accidentally spilling salt. We'll be accidentally <laughs> tipping over salt shakers. <laughs> we just have laid out, over, and like we're gonna start a domino thing. They'll just knock them all over, it. and it spells that's out the number twenty three. <laughs> oh shit! Dang, that's cool. I know, dude. Is I've salt been flaming this for a while? Is salt flammable? Uh, is, everything's flammable. That's true. Sure. Yeah, because like if it spells it out, we light it on fire, like very dark. Hold on, light hold, rises. hold on. While it spells out the number twenty three, you should have some salt salt shakers that. Tip over, knock over mirrors. Others that go under ladders. So you're talking about a Rube Goldberg yeah, machine yeah. mechanism going on here, it's but designed to do nothing I just want but to fuck cause up us my bad life. luck for the rest of our lives <laughs> yeah. for a billion years, and we will for probably all of our not generation. Even get out of this room alive if we do all of this. <laughs> well, we'll die at some point in I this room. S- I smell the next Final Destination plot. Yes, we're gonna write that. Somebody <laughs> called Woody Harrelson. <laughs> what the fuck? What? That was the most random. Why Woody Harrelson? He was never in any of the Final Destinations. He wasn't in the number 23. He was not in any bad in movie that had bad luck in it. Yeah. Was he in any of the Friday the 13th? No. No, but I was thinking like the apocalypse type hmm. movies. Mm. You were reaching on that one. Yeah. You were Jack reaching on that one. 2012 is already coming on, dude. It's over. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, three stuff guys. Three stuff saying? guys. <laughs> the number twenty three. Number twenty three episode. Uh, Jeff Campbell. Jeff Campbell. Jeff Campbell and Jeff Campbell. And oh, and Matt Rudy's here too. Oh, Matt Rudy. Yeah, I forgot about him. Uh, and Blake Rudy is somewhere <laughs> in the building. I'm not sure. Where Farting he is. up a storm. Yeah, he's apparently had some bad food. It was good food. Actually, it was good food. But it was... Barbecue always does that to me. It'll, like, give me... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Whoa, spoiler oh, alert! Oh, shit! Ah. Okay, then. Okay. Well, let's just get oh, silent okay. for a second. Let Matt talk. Hold on. What? You have something to say, Matt? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Couldn't quite hear you. <clears throat> no, I'm Speak good. Speak a little bit more. I'm good. Okay. You sure? Yep. You look like you have something to say. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay. We'll put you on the spot later. <coughs> okay. <sighs> Alright, so... What happens? What happened? What What's has happened? happened in the last week in terms of entertainment news that we can then put a comedic spin on? <laughs> <laughs> As it is our want. Well... Um, oh well, J.J. Abrams is apparently making everything under the sun now because he's making a Half Life. A Half Life Mortal, Mortal movie. movie, yeah. <laughs> is he really? Yes. He he, he won't necessarily direct them, but he's going to produce them. Yeah, 
Yeah, he was in negotiations with Valve over... Well, they didn't say both. They said either Half-Life or Portal. It'll probably be both. It'll probably be both. It's, it's J.J. Abrams, too. Yeah. He's probably going to make the orange I, box the movie. That's what I'm going to say. Why not? Dude? Let's do Team Fortress 2 up in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Pretty awesome. You know what he should do? He should do Star Wars versus Star Trek Team Fortress 2 style. Oh, oh my Fuck, God. with portals everywhere. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> This is the stupidest and there was Gordon movie. Gordon Freeman running all over the place shooting people. Morgan Freeman as Gordon Freeman? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that casting does itself. No. You know who would be Gordon Freeman? Before before I even say it, you better say it. Brian Cranston. Cran- yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dude, he, yeah should, he does sort of look like him. He would, to, yeah. With the glasses and the goatee. Yeah, he would be good. Yeah, he would be okay, I guess. He would be perfect. He's Maybe too perfect. old. I think he's too old. You just what? make him old. What? Yeah, Matt, are you? Matt, are you out of the loop? No, I know who you're talking about. <clears throat> okay. He's too old. Is Gordon Freeman's too old, or Brian Cranston's too old? Uh, either one. Hmm. No, Brian Cranston is too old to play Gordon Freeman. No, Gordon Freeman is not that young. He's not Brian Cranston age. Dude, it doesn't matter. That's true. With CGI, you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lee Michelle ain't, ain't a high school child, but she plays one in, in Glee. I'm sorry, I don't watch that show. A, a, a different example. Di- Diana Agron ain't a high school child, but she plays one in Glee. <laughs> okay, I get that one, yeah. Okay, see, there you go. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so J.J. Abrams is basically just like any property... That's ever gonna have a movie made of it. They're just gonna go to him first for anything. Is he the next? Steven so Spielberg? everybody else gets his sloppy seconds. Is he the next Steven Spielberg? Uh, he's already Steven Spielberg of this generation. Yeah, he is. It's true. I mean, that's just. And yes, he has now finally gotten to that level that Spielberg got to after his first few big hits, where he could then produce everything he ever wanted to <laughs> in his life. Yeah. So that's where J.J. Abrams is. So does that make Nolan? George Lucas. No, are you kidding me? In his prime. No, Nolan is Coppola in his prime. Is that better than? Yes. Lucas? Okay. Okay. <laughs> in yeah. his prime. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Coppola is. Um, Coppola did the Godfather. Godfather. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, he also did Apocalypse Now. He did The Conversation, which is a really, really good movie with Gene Hackman. It's mm-hmm. really good. Oh my God! I felt. I felt like well, I not that I felt smart or anything, but I felt sorry for the rest of my class. My business law teacher, he like said, he said, okay, so he was doing a presentation thingy or a PowerPoint, or whatever. He's going over the notes, and he said a line, and he like he said it like backwards, like he reversed it. So he goes, scratch that, reverse it, and then he, I'm like, I, I had this little smile on my face, and he's like, what movie is that from? I like, point to the class, and I was like, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, because like no one else would like answer it. He's like, who said that? And I was like, and he's like, oh yeah. He's like, Got a movie buff up in here. You and me. Yeah. You and me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> trailer down by the river. <laughs> but I was like looking around, like really, guys. And then someone had the balls to be like, because he was like, he's like Willy Wonka or Charlie. He's like, which one is the whatever? And the kids like, it's, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I was like, no, it is no. not. The original is Willy Wonka. The book is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the new shit Tim one is Charlie and the Chocolate Charlie Factory. And Charlie. Man, these fucking kids nowadays. I this is stupid as shit, dude. I'm like, give a fucking tablet, like, in your eyeball. Like, look it up. Like, what the fuck? This dude's like, you little stupid tablet. I'm like, look at the fucking thing up. Otherwise, you just bought a so $500, like, paperweight, which is what so it is for most of them. uncultured. Yeah. It's people. You really are, like, uncultured if you don't know, like, popular movies like that. Really oh, are. like, half the class didn't even... The one girl was like, what's Willy <clears throat> Wonka? Uh, I had the balls to say that. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. So we should have just killed it right there. I was going, to, I was going to, but people were looking. <laughs> I thought it was a little too risky. So I that was too risky with thirty witnesses. Oh my god, dude! I, I waited till after class. Not on your I, I did not know, like not even like know what Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is. She didn't know who Willy Wonka was. I'm like seeing it as one thing, but no, like you should just know that. You know, how, it exists. you know how someone, you know how someone got her to like. Like to have the epiphany of like, oh, like that's it. They go, uh, haven't you ever heard of like Wonka candies? And she's just like kind of looking at them, like all confused. And they're like, like nerds. And she goes, oh, someone had to like reference the candy. I'm like, no, no, like 
She's like Charlie nerd. Bucket, Golden Ticket. Come on, look Gene Wilder. Fuck. Gene Wilder. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Oh my god. Blazing Saddles. What's that? Just stand yeah. up and fucking put your fist through him. Like, I don't even I don't know. know. I would have, I would have, like, just put my fist in there, like, who's Gene Wilder? I would have been like, oh my god, like, you There are a lot of people, like, when I say Young Frankenstein, don't know that movie at all. I'm like, you should be slapped until dead. <clears throat> yeah. Just vigorously yeah. fucking... <laughs> like, that, like, that, like that short movie where the guy gets killed by that spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly dead. What's it called? Yeah, it's lonely death. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's it called? It's, it's called like, Spoonful of Sugar. It's called Spoon Man. Spoon Man. I'm gonna spoon you. Yeah. All oh, that sp- loud. Spooning all night. Spooning all night. Uh, I think it was funny. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Great. One of the little bullet points that we're gonna be talking about the bullet points. I can tell you that right now. Why? Because it's stupid. It's not stupid. I don't want to go back and listen to our podcast. Somebody has to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Somebody actually has to listen to it no. in its entirety. You know what, man? I'm taking the Johnny Depp approach to our podcast. You're taking the bullet for that. I'm taking the Johnny Depp approach to the podcast from now on. In that, when I'm, if I'm a part of it, I'm not going to go back and listen to the finished product. Okay. Well, then we have to find somebody who designated. To actually listen to the whole thing outside of us because we don't want to fucking do it. <laughs> well, this is easier. Just take little notes as we're talking. But it's going to take away spontaneity. You're going to be stopping like you just did to start writing down something, and we're going to have to sit here and wait for you to. No, you just keep going. No, no see, we're already on a different see, topic. We're on your you little bullet point. So it works. It, it works. No. Chaos theory in motion, dude. Dude, not a good movie. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds can't do anything right. <laughs> Speaking of, you said something earlier about sloppy seconds, and I wanted to get yeah. on this topic real quick. Um, because it took care. Well, yeah. Did you guys hear? <laughs> did, you, did you guys hear this rumor that Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> yeah, is dating, is dating the Selena model that Justin Bieber? No, Selena Gomez. No, he's dating the supermodel. Uh-huh. Yes, Selena Gomez. No. Yeah, because they said that he's getting Justin Bieber sloppy seconds. Yes, the supermodel that Justin Bieber cheated on Selena with. That never happened, yes, though. Yes, it did. No, Justin said he didn't do it. Because no guy has ever lied. No guy has ever lied. No, to Kara, I've never lied to you, ever. <laughs> <laughs> we, can we designate Takara as our official listener? Nah. She won't listen to it. And then if she does listen to it, she'll listen to it in my room and I'll have to listen to it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, no. I'd rather just listen to it by myself. That was awkward last time I listened to, listened to it with her. Yeah. She just turned and looked at me like... Oh, I'm sure there would be any number of times during any podcast that she would just start well, she, staring at you and just... She just kind of did that thing where she like, you know, the, the wide-eyed, like, hmm, like, oh, you just went on a little tangent about fucking 14-year-old girls. Hmm. Wonder if you really think that way, and I'm like, well, yeah, but of like, of course, we're guys, <laughs> we're guys, yeah. And Matt thinks about eight year old girls. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you want to send me to jail? No, you can't go to Matt. You cannot go to jail if you're thinking about fucking eight year old girls. Yeah, you can only go to jail if you actually fuck a girl that's not of a. Uh, <laughs> <shut up. laughs> Same boat, but the statute of limitations has run out on me. Matthew <laughs> has what? Nine years left. Man. Oh, man. I'm going to start emailing the links to this to all the police departments. <laughs> <laughs> He's seemed like nervous. <laughs> Nothing that. Know, he's like getting silent now. Yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> look at the cops. Is there one hidden in here? Is there a bug in the room? <laughs> yeah, it's that fucking microphone that's right there. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't that be the most amazing thing that was to put your bug on the microphone? <laughs> I wouldn't even notice it. <laughs> no one would. And they would like unplug the mic and turn it off because they think nobody could then hear. <laughs> Dude, it'd be like a fucking Russian, a Russian nesting doll. It's like a microphone within a microphone. Know, within a micro- microphone. You're bugged by like six different agencies. 
<laughs> Nesting doll mics <laughs> and <coughs> got it. Okay, okay, Matt. Okay. Next topic. <laughs> we could we could talk about where we ate. Sure, but we could. What? What? Yeah, just Why was that so funny? Super Bowl <laughs> happened. Yeah, it oh, did happen. Blackout. Cow- Cowboys won. The blackout. <laughs> the blackout with Beyonce throwing the Illuminati symbol up. There's Whoa, so much to talk about. Shit. There's so much to talk about. So who won the Super Bowl? The Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. What was the score? Mm, boring. <laughs> Moving on. I don't remember. Yeah, in any case. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. It, it was a blowout in the first half. Then the blackout happened. It was a fucking rape. It really was. It was like, it was really bad in the first half. The Ravens just totally dominated the game. Yeah. And then they come back for the second half, and they run the opening kickoff back for a touchdown, so they add another seven points to their lead. And then immediately after that, all of a sudden, the lights go out. And yeah. their score tripled when the lights came back no, and, and they were, you know, like 36 <laughs> minutes of the players just like laying on the field. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. They had to wait for them all to cycle back up. And when they came back, the 49ers actually came back. And they scored, like, 17 unanswered points and made it really, really close. But because well, when the lights went out, the, all the black guys got tired. And they are like, yeah, you know, I'm going to take a little nap. Yeah, I know, exactly. I mean, so then they weren't, they weren't, yeah. Yeah, they're like, uh, the A game they're like parrots, really. <laughs> I don't think it's... You know what that means? Mm-hmm. If you, that's what they do. Like when you have a, because parrots are talky birds, obviously, so they yapper all the time. <laughs> right, like so, women. <laughs> exactly. If I could do this to my wife, this would be amazing. <clears throat> all you do is Put you her throw in a, a blanket over the cage. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a blanket over the cage, and it simulates darkness, and the parrot goes to sleep immediately. Well, it doesn't simulate darkness; it creates darkness. Well, yeah, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. It's no, I'm getting technical up in here. I've let too many, well, too many technicalities slide over the okay. past okay. 22 episodes. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> <clears throat> that would be pretty cool. You just throw yeah, a fucking yeah, blanket I mean, over. And I, and I probably could. I mean, if Leanne and I were laying in bed and she was talking about her day, which you know she does all the time, and I don't yeah. even care. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> blanket I just throw a blanket over. Oh, she was shut up for like mid sentence. So just like. <laughs> <laughs> No, let's be realistic. She'd shut up for a second, and then she'd fucking flip out. No, she might fall asleep. I'm like a She's bat. pretty tired most of the time. I'm like a bat out of hell. If I did that to care, she'd fucking yeah, grab, her, see... grab her coat and storm <laughs> out. So... Oh, <laughs> why, then... why no? uh, I'd start stocking up on blankets. What? I didn't get it. I'm implying that you would want her to leave. And that would be the way, that would be the catalyst to get her to leave. No, I've, I've already come up with an idea of how, would I, how I would get her to leave. Talking about fucking a 14 year old girl? No, I would have to go fuck a 14 year old girl. In front of her? Film her. No, film it. Oh, I would do it in front of her. No, I'd film it and I'd be like, hey, like, why don't you go ahead and um, play Breaking Bad, you know, and start that. We're on episode 7. And she'd like, oh, okay. And that, you know, I'd rename the video on my mm-hmm. computer and she'd start playing it. And I'd just look right in the eyes and I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, I fucked a 14 year old girl. What are you going to do about it? She called the cops. She called the cops. I get arrested and stuff, yeah. but dude, it'd be worth it. It would be worth it. Just to see the look on her face. That would be Shit. cool. I would, I would really enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd show all the prisoners in my cell. I'd be like, dude, check out her face. And I, when I showed her the video of me fucking a 14-year-old, go, how old's your daughter? <laughs> and the guy's like, 14. Oh, okay, so it could have been her, dude. Yeah. I mean, well, is that her? <laughs> that tight little ass look like hers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Hold on, I got a picture of it myself. In prison? In, pr- in prison, it's like, course, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, yeah everybody <laughs> trades them. <laughs> just check pictures. You just, you just like keep hoping you don't get yours back. Of your naked daughters and summoning the fucking monster card. <laughs> Wouldn't the monster card just be a picture of your dick? <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean. So what would a blue eyes white dragon be? Uh. Yeah, that's. that's a I know what a. I know a brown. A brown eyed. I know where that's going. A brown eyed black cyclops would be. <laughs> Dude, Matt is getting too horny over here. We need to chill. 
<laughs> All right, Matt. Yeah. All right, write it right down. Uh, <laughs> pornographic teenage sex trading cards prison. <laughs> you got to put the prison because <laughs> that'll differentiate it from the other times we've talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm not gonna take notes. I always go back and listen to it. I'm saying, dude, okay. it's hilarious. You gotta listen to it. Mm-hmm. You got me. <laughs> okay, so back to the blackout. Okay, so yeah, the 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 theory, which is now almost um, not theory, but but fact, right. is that um, Beyonce apparently threw up an Illuminati symbol <laughs> at the end of her performance, which is the diamond. Or whatever it is, her, mm-hmm. her and Jay Z do. Mm-hmm. So she threw that up, and the Illuminati said, "You know what? Fuck that! Like we don't like you throwing up our symbol because you're black, and the Illuminati mm-hmm. is primarily white. Right. Existed for millions of years. Yeah. They shut that shit down. But they only got half of it. So see that right there proves to me that the Illuminati don't really control everything; they control half of everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's really all they got. <clears throat> so. Because the Illuminati's. And there's the fucking Muslims that control the other half. That's true. And the Muslims, since right. they're obviously happy with the performance, mm-hmm. um, they like scantily clad women. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much that's fact at this point. Right. That that's what happened. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with any electrical problems. Mm-hmm. There was you just it's, it's 2012 like you just don't like have electrical problems, problems right. anymore you just don't have that <clears throat> exactly I mean there's just some white dude sitting at a switchboard somewhere he's just waiting for people to fuck up yeah uh, in the in public and then he's just randomly flip shit off yeah so that could be also the uh, the next the final destination plot as well the Illuminati could be the people actually have to kill everybody Oh shit! <clears throat> they are deaf, technically. Yeah. So, you, are you saying that they're supernatural, or they're just regular people, and they use elements within the world to create these? Yeah, I mean, well. Or are you actually saying that the Illuminati are like ghosts? That they are like, yeah, Grim Reapers, and they are running. Yeah, around? that's <clears throat> pretty much. I mean, I I consider the Illuminati to be Nazgul. That's okay. <laughs> okay. That's what they are. Okay, I got gotcha. you, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Seriously, dude, you're not even participating. <laughs> <laughs> you're falling asleep. Yeah. You're talking about Illuminati. I thought you'd this jump in. You're all yeah. perked up about this. You should be, you should be hard right now. <laughs> should we go back to talking about eight-year-old girls? <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So the Super Bowl <clears throat> done for another year. Now I start my uh, eight-month drought. Of no football. But, <clears throat> you get to do fantasy golf. Yes, I am doing fantasy golf. <clears throat> I don't know. They needed another person, and I was just like, whatever, dude. It's very minimal, kind of. Yeah. I don't really have to do much, so. There's not, really a, there's not a team to the fantasy <clears throat> golf. Yeah, it's not a team. Basically, what you do is you, you pick your people. Like, every week or every couple of weeks, they have a tournament. And so, you know, you just pick the, I think you get to pick, like, four people that you want to choose as the people that you think are going to win the tournament. And so you're just betting. Pretty much, except there's no money involved as far as I'm aware. No one told me that we were paying, playing for money. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, we're just, I guess it's for bragging rights. I don't know. Which, I was really like, golf, really? There are no hmm. bragging rights. So golf. you should just pick the shittiest players and you just get out of that shit early. <laughs> like, damn do that. You'd be like, oh, we didn't tell you that if you lose, you gotta suck us all off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn it! Fuck. Fuck. A deal is a deal. A deal is a deal, man. <laughs> I did shake take on my it. medicine. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I've all, I've done fantasy baseball one other time, and that's fucking annoying. Because yeah, they yeah. play 182 <laughs> games a fucking year, and you, they constantly games. like have to. <clears throat> you have to constantly be. You have to change your lineup like every fucking day in baseball. 
which is just that's just too much time to have to spend doing that. Like I like my football once a week. I just go in and see who's hurt <laughs> and take them out of the lineup, and then say, "Boom, I'm done." I don't get it, dude. Yeah, it's just a way to make it interesting. I, I guess that's the same thing as me going in and you know taking Pikachu out because his you know his one attack is is I used up a, all of his Thunderbolt techniques. I got throw in Charmander up in there and right. I mean it's the same concept only a little more manly. Right, Pokemon's a little bit more manly than the football thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think so. Pretty sure that it's the other way around. No. Pretty sure. Because there's no ass slapping going on in Pokemon. Um, <laughs> He's not, well, not in front of the camera. That would be like a really good like scientific experiment. Seeing if Pokemon or, or football, like which one would get you laid faster. Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I think so. Hands down. Mm-hmm. If you if you told let's a girl, ex- if you, told a girl you played Pokemon, she'd be like, I'm going to fuck you right now. No. Well, not no. necessarily, but let's, 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 let's play this. Okay. So there's two types of girls. We're going to get all psychology up in this. Okay. There's two types of girls. You got your, your girl who's into guys that are into sports. Mm-hmm. And then you got your girl who's into nerdy dudes. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Which one's easier to get to get laid by? Um, depends. Because if you play sports, <clears throat> it's much easier to get laid as an athlete. But you're not playing sports. You're playing fantasy football. That was the thing. Like, if you play fantasy football versus playing Pokemon, which one you could go tell a girl and get laid faster? If you go tell a nerdy, if you go tell a nerdy girl that you play fantasy football, they're not going to care. If you go tell a sports girl that you play Pokemon, they're not going to care. So that doesn't work. You got to go to like your, you know what I mean? Like, you got to go to the the one that you're, whatever. I just I feel like a nerdy girl is going to be a little uglier Mm -hmm. than the than the popular girl who's into like the sports guys. They're going to be a little bit uglier. Always, always. But. They're going to be insecure. Okay. They're all around. They're going to be easier. Mm, I think it depends. I think it depends on age. Okay. Because I think if you go to a 30-year-old girl... <laughs> Anyone born after 87, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. I mean, if, if you go to a, a 30- or 35-year-old woman <clears throat> and say you play Pokemon, even if she's a nerdy girl... Mm-hmm. I don't think she's going to get all hot in the drawers. We don't know this. We don't know we don't this. Know this we haven't done the experiment. I know yet. a lot of 35-year-old nerdy girls. But your generation didn't grow up with Pokemon the way our generation grew up with it. Right. And that's why I'm saying it's a generational thing. Right. I'm trying to say... Uh, okay. For I your think, generation, sports would be... Yeah, it would be much... And for our generation, that, the nerdy and shit. And the thing be. is, this is why I think that the numbers would be on my side, is that it would be... You have to pick a, a cut-off year... That would be the last year of the generation that grew up on Pokemon, and it would be them down, and then it would be that up would all be girls that go for sports, and there's going to be way more girls going up because there's way more years. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess. Well, but well, you went up to, to a fifty-year-old woman, right? No, hold on. But what you're saying, okay? But you're you're giving <laughs> these numbers. She probably doesn't know what technology is. Like in the realm of like of like legality, like what no, we're, what we're really. legally allowed to have sex with. Because there no, are a lot no. of there. Like, if you're cut off as thirty, there are a lot of thirty and under that I could have sex with. Right. All of those one to thirty. <laughs> you know. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, they're, okay. It's 30, and then 30 to, let's say, like, 60. 90. Pat, but past the point of... <laughs> it's a lot of 90-year-old girls. Yeah, past the point of 60... No, it doesn't count, because past the point of 60, they all have Alzheimer's. And all, know, that's the best thing about them. But see, they can't differentiate. So, like, that that group, the above 60 group, would belong to both of us. Yeah, but I don't think it's 30. I think it's more like 22, 23 down. No. Yeah. I don't know. Because when would you say the height of the Pokemon craze was? Like two years ago. <laughs> it's, it's right now. Right now. Trick question, right? <laughs> no. Oh, it was like. Dude, the 3D eight, one is nine coming. years ago. No, it's right now. Cause no, the 3D, it's not. Pokemon is finally going 3D. Oh my god. Dude. With the new one, X and Y, coming out for the 3DS. And you're not taking into account Japan. We're talking the world here. I know. Everybody knows All Japanese Pokemon. girls like Pokemon. 
That's a <clears throat> fucking fact. Yeah, but all Indian girls <laughs> like football. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They love football. Mm. Well, all soccer, African like women. soccer football, or <laughs> don't know what fucking football or Pokemon. <laughs> <are. laughs> we'll knock that continent off. Exactly. We don't need it. But all the girls in Antarctica, dude, they go wild over Pokemon. I think they're more hockey people. <laughs> they might be. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the the question was like, what would be easier? I understand. Not, what not the how much is. can I get? I understand that. No, if I, I pick greedy here, Jeff, jeez. If I, if I if I picked a Gorgonzola who is into who is into sports versus a Gorgonzola who is into Pokemon, I could get laid with the Pokemon one quicker. No, I could get laid with the sports one quicker. That's because you know sports and I know Pokemon. Why are we this whole study was stupid. <laughs> why, are, why are we bragging over Gorgonzola? Okay, let's, let's take Matt then. Matt doesn't know anything about Pokemon or sports. So. Matt so can't get laid at all, like, no matter <laughs> what true. he does. That is true. Matt, what do you know about? What kind of girl can we find for you? Um, a super anti-religious girl. Yes. Okay. We could probably do that. I hope they're not very religious in India. <laughs> 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 Show me something that's true. <laughs> dude, up there in Israel, dude. No one gives a shit. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I just think yes. It's it just depends on it depends on your skill, your skill set. Yes. Yeah. See, because that's the thing. Like, but see, you and I are are a special breed of people. Right, we exactly. can we can learn the. Like, we can go behind enemy lines and learn the other trades. And I already have, for the yeah. most part. There are certain aspects I don't I, I care about. Like, yeah, dude, like football, fuck yeah. Tony Romas. <laughs> oh, I love that <laughs> I love that dude's ribs, man. <laughs> I love that dude's food. And they'd be like, what? Well, don't do you... say food, just say ribs, because then they'll actually think you're talking yeah. about Tony <laughs> Romo's ribs. Yeah, dude, his ribs are tight. So Little things like that, you know, just kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's still... Yeah. And then they ask about, and then if we ever do get on the subject of Pokemon, then they'll just like full no, like nerd explosion and just fucking go wild. Exactly. And that might get a little creepy. So, yeah, man, I could get laid <clears throat> at Comic Con and pretty much any sci fi <laughs> comic convention yeah. of any stripe. But I could also get laid at the Super Bowl. I could get laid at the Final Four. Without, without the girl being drunk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's possible to get laid at Comic Con without the girl being drunk. Oh yeah, it is. I don't think so, because they're always drunk. Well, <laughs> they're just fucking. I, the real question is, like, I know they're nasty. I know. Dude. You they don't really trash, want to, but yeah. I wouldn't want a single there, girl that like goes a to a small Acon. little bit of the people that go I have a I have a weird thing. I don't know if you like feel the same way, but like. I don't want a girlfriend who plays video games or watches anime. That's my thing. Well, That's yeah, like my I mean, alone time. That's my like special place. I don't really care about girls that play video games. I don't want a girl that plays video games more than I play video games. No. Yeah. Which lately I don't play them very Or much. plays better than you. I don't really care about that because that's not going to happen anyway. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, if it did happen, that would be weird. Yeah, that probably would be. It I'd would be like, the same yeah. thing. Like, I would not want to date a girl who is as into football as I am, probably. And who's better at fantasy football than you? Again, not not really going to happen. But right, but if it did... Like, but if you know, it did, yeah, I probably would... Like a Jenny situation from the yeah, league. from the league. I would probably... See, I don't know, because at some point, I, I wonder, would that make me more into her because of how amazing no, she you'd is? Feel, you'd feel but, masculine. Yeah, I would yeah. probably. Um, except that in fantasy football, a lot of it's luck. There's yeah. not really any skill to fantasy football, yeah, really. True. I mean, you do have to know how to draft. What if you went out into the yard and played, like, tackle football that, and she kicked your ass? Then, yes, I would have to dump her ass right then. Okay. So you're not into sporty girls? Well, see, I'm into like girls that girls. like sports, just because I'd like to be able to have that commonality. Right. Like, I I mean, I don't really care that Leanne doesn't care about sports, but it would be more interesting to me if she sat down and watched a game with me. Or, so you're saying your wife is uninteresting? Oh, very Okay. I mean, all she does is talk about work. Who gives a shit? Yeah. She teaches retards. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, hon. Love you. <laughs> so much to talk about there. Yeah, really. But, yeah, see, I mean, because 
I've dated a girl that was like into sports. Pants today. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, she's they had, I guess, because uh, she does the regular, um, regular retards. Yeah, the regular retards. They're just kind of a little slow, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't really have the mental or the physical yeah. handicaps. They have their own room for that, but <laughs> yeah, they a, do. This is so, a sick, like zoo. Oh, it's, yeah, it is too. Like they're the kids that you know they have to wipe their ass for them. Dude, I went to I went to public school. Yeah. I know how and this. The thing <laughs> is, the teacher, the teacher that did that, she quit. Well, yeah, I'd quit too. I'd have wiped retards' asses. No, 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 she no. quit. No, she oh, killed herself. She did not kill herself, but she did quit. Jeff quit winking, dude. <laughs> um, but so they were then they hired a long term sub to go into that room and just kind of it basically it's like a babysitter. They don't really yeah. have to actually teach. The sub quit. Well, yeah, dude. I know exactly. Of course. So my wife is afraid, but she didn't text me today, so they must not have done this. She texted me yesterday saying. She had heard from other people that they were going to put her in that room for the rest of the year. No. Mm -mm. And she was like, I don't think I can do that. There's no no way. I'd be like, you're not putting me in there. And I I told her, look, I understand that you want to be a team player and, you know, because she wants to move up and she wants... And I was like, no, if it's going to make you miserable every fucking day, it's not fucking worth it. Just say, no, I'm not comfortable doing that. That's not what I'm here to do. Yeah. You know, and they can go yeah. find somebody I else. Can talk about a waste of taxpayers' money, man. Honestly, it really is. I mean, it really is. I don't think retards should be in public schools. The I severely, th- probably not. Because you just, you just, but like, you you're putting like, in, in like the line of like ridicule from other students. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I don't, it's like the whole abortion thing. Like, who knows if they? There she is. There she goes. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, no, dude. Okay. All right. That's a nice brief musical interlude yeah. that we're probably going to have to pay for. Shit, you're right. You have to bleep that shit out. No, because... Well, no, because we can, we can sing it. We can sing it. We just that's can't right. play we can't it. play it. There you go. So that's the way to get around everything. We can just sing all of the musical stuff that we want to do. Yeah. Oh shit! Our podcast could. Oh, that's a message. Our Maybe podcast. I'll play the message on the podcast. You should. <laughs> our podcast should be like a front for being able to pirate music. You know, we'll just we'll sing the song and people can get it for free. Uh, well, was that your text? It's not working apparently. No, her internet. internet connection for her laptop. Oh. Uh, women. I know. Tell her to turn. Like I, I fix plug it. Like plug it back. Seconds. I. She usually does that because she knows. That's the first thing I always told her every single time. Yeah. Was restart your computer, and then if it's still not working, go unplug the router. Wait fifteen wait seconds. Fifteen seconds. Plug it, it back again. in and check it again. So. <laughs> and if that's not working, go to Best Buy and get another router because it's obviously broken. If that's not working, call Geek Squad and have. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Geek Squad. I remember when I had to replace uh, the router for uh, the office like Dad was in for his like old business. Yeah. And uh, like we bought a new router, but like I used the same like cables. Like I didn't use the new cables he came with. I don't know why, but I just used like. The ones they had already, like, set up. Yeah. And, like, it wasn't working. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's like a new router. I put in all the information correctly. Like, what the hell? So then I'm like, you know, like, I'm just going to try the new fucking wire. Plugged in and it worked perfectly. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I'm like, really? It's like a little rat chews through the wire and it won't work. It looked fine. So I'm like, wow, we probably just bought a whole new router for nothing when it was just the cable. Yeah, you got a better router. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, 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 because I brought a cable from home, so it was the router. It was a piece of shit router, too. God. I always hate when people get those uh, cable modem, like, the, the router the combos. The hybrid combos, yeah. Oh, I'm like, they're like, it's good. I'm like, no. I'm like, you get the cable box, and then you get a fucking router, like, yeah, separately. Unfortunately, like, the one that we have right now, it's required, because it's a Time Warner cable one. And it's actually, they actually made it so you can't. That's not true. That's not true. No, trust me, dude. I've done it. 
They, they I tried. tried. I know, but they told us to take care and we got around it. No, trust me. I have tried. And I know what I'm doing. And I've actually gone online and everybody says you can't get around it. <clears throat> Are you sure? Like, did you call them? No, I'm not going to call them. You have to call them. No. Why would I have to I call promise them? you, I called them and you give them the, the little serial number on the back of the new like router or, or whatever that you're buying. Mm-hmm. Like, we bought a new modem. So she got a, a Linksys modem and then a Linksys router. You call them up, you tell them what you have, and then you tell them that you're replacing the modem. They get a little pissy. Oh, no, 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 no. This is their provided one. To yeah. get the upgraded service that I have, you can only use their provided. They won't allow an external one. They won't allow you to provide your own. Oh, well, that's fucking Yeah, it's, that's why I was like, what the fuck? Because the Hertz was like sort of the same way. Like They, they provided it. It was yeah. their thing for their service right. and all that shit. And they said the same thing, like, you have to use this, because if you plug a router into it, it won't work. Right. If you try to replace it, the new modem won't work. Right. So we call them up, yeah, and I was like... Yeah, and have them activated. And, yeah, and activate the new yeah, modem. Yeah, I know, but everything. this one, it's because of the speed type that I want to get. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. They actually... Well, does it work well? It's okay. I mean... That would piss me off, dude. Yeah, no, it pisses me off, but it's the only option right now in the house that we're in. Hmm. Yeah. That's why when we move... Get Verizon <laughs> Fios. I, I want Fios, but... I think it depends on where we go. Some of the neighborhoods they haven't wired for FiOS yet. Yeah, it's like, like U-verse. ours. But Uverse is better than Time Warner, so because I've had it before, I liked it a lot better. The well, freaking uh, Raphael has freaking FiOS, but I think his router is just like fucking shit or something. It's not, it's not his router; he's wirelessly connected, which makes FiOS obsolete. Like it makes it completely. Well, no, but, but what I'm saying is like he gets like disconnected so much, like it must be his router. Because, well, yeah, like, yeah, his router's. Yeah, his router must be crap too. But I mean, like that's the point like, is you don't, don't need a router. If you, have FiOS. if you have FiOS, you should not have a router. Yeah, you should. Well, be I guess wired. if you want your mobile phone and shit like yeah. that, that doesn't have Ethernet ports. <clears throat> yeah, but like, everything like, else should be fucking wired. Like your laptops and stuff like that. If you just want to use around the right. house, yeah, that's true. Okay, then yeah, get a wire. Yeah, well, that's yeah. the problem. Like, but like, if you have a video game console, yeah, for for my a TV, TV, like, console, TV, TV or that, I'm plugging it all directly. Yeah, in. yeah. I think most like don't most apartments like now have like FiOS like wired. Like yeah, if you want to pay yeah, for it, some of them. It just depends. Yeah, it it depends. depends on the areas. Like in parts of Allen, they have it already wired and everything. Yeah, yeah. In some of them, they're slowly <clears throat> getting them there, but they're not quite there yet. Yeah. So I'm but, surprised. Like our neighborhood doesn't have friggin' fires, considering how new it is. Like it's a newer neighborhood. Grande fucking thought. like bought this area out. Huh? Grande like claimed this area. Do they have fires? <laughs> no. They have they that. Have like the they cable. they do have higher speeds than ours. They have like four or five like higher ones than what we have. But Dad doesn't want to fork out the extra money because he's got. This is why most people now have internet and TV. Some people don't have TV because you really don't need it anymore. But like internet and TV, nobody has a fucking landline. He pays almost a hundred dollars for that fucking landline. Does he really? Yeah, it's expensive to have a landline. Fuck. It's like part of a combo pack. Who needs a combo pack? I save money, and I'm like. No, it's like when you go to Wendy's and they tell you, oh, like, you know, if you if you get the combo, you save 50 cents, and you're like, or if I don't get the fries, I save $2. Yeah. Like, just because you comboed it and then took 50 cents off the total price of those three items doesn't mean that it's going to be less money than just me buying two items together. Right. Right. So Dad doesn't understand that. Well, like, like, you can save, like, $100. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even use the landlines. I don't He just fucking screams when, like, when it rings. He gets all pissed off. Well, you just well, get, get rid, rid of it. Because, like, the only people that call us are, like, clothing pickup and, like, the fucking doctors or podcast. I'm like, he's dying anyway, so who cares? And give him your cell phone number. Go. Yeah, just give him your cell phone. I'm like, you already use it for your business. Yeah. That shit, like, annoys me because we, we could have better internet. I mean, granted, it is Grande, Or, but like, just tell him to fucking send you an email. Like, just email all your shit. Yeah. I get so tired of all the damn telemarketers. I get tired of that landline, dude. I don't hear it ring. It's, like, annoying. I know. Like, working on homework, and for, like, the good duration of it, like, ringing, I'm just, I can't do anything, I can't focus. This is, like, loud and obnoxious. And alarm going off. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> this little ring it. Yes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> uh, what else been going on? Did you see they, like, semi-revealed the female villain for Superman? They, like, had, like, an action yeah. figure? figure her name. Athena? Huh? Athena? No. no. Didn't it start with like an F or something? Oh, Athena? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember what her name is. Mm. Uh, 
Um, Apparently, in like the movie, she like beats Superman to a bloody pulp, like near death, with yeah, Kryptonite sense. Bat. Like what? no, I don't like. I don't, no, like, no they're she's, also from. Yeah, she Krypton, is like so. They have the same powers he does on her. <laughs> He's gonna suck, dude. I can't oh, wait yeah, for this train wreck. Really good. No, it's gonna be shit fest. They threw away the Justice League script. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was happy about that. Why did they throw it away? It was shit. It said it was, they actually said it was just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> they said it was fucking terrible. You cannot make a good Justice League movie. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably not. Cause it's Those characters are too... They're just too, too uninteresting. Weird. They're too uninteresting. Yeah, they're like, too weird together. Yeah, together. They're just... I mean, the Avengers you know, are, like, know, weird, but, like, you can make them fit. Like, you, know, you know what I think you know, the problem is? Like, I think the DC characters, they're, like, they're just too serious. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, the like, Avengers, the Marvel characters, like, they're so much, like, fun, right. and they have, like, so much character and personality. Like, right. you could slam them all together, and they, like, somehow have, like, a good chemistry. Right. Yeah, Whereas, like, every... the DC characters, they all be, like, detectives and be, like... <laughs> and like fucking Batman with his damn voice. It'd be Law and Order, the Justice League. <laughs> well, yeah, because they're they're all emos. They are. They're well, all emos. The Justice well, League. They're all like like I'm gonna like I have a very dark past, and I have to like stay in the shadows, and like everyone must hate me. That must be my thing. And you're like, dude, fuck you. Just fight. Like fight some guy. <laughs> fight. But you're not un- uninteresting. The battles would Finish be. Him. You know, how uninteresting those battles would be. Batman couldn't do anything. Yeah, Superman be doing everything. You have like an if you have a godlike <laughs> villain, like Batman can't do anything. So like Superman would be throw doing his at people. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Superman okay. would be doing stuff. Green Lantern would be standing there going, "Oh shit, I imagine a big machine gun." No, I imagine big fist punching you in the face. Uh, I imagine it's like you're not doing anything. I imagine just... big Batman fucking you up. <laughs> yeah, I, imagine, I imagine we beat you. Oh look okay. at that. Hey, we won! Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Green Lantern, me. Superman, like, okay, like, the Man of Steel, like, whether it's, like, good or bad, like, they could make a good Superman movie if they just read the fucking comics and just, like, followed that shit, because, like... Dude, they just went back and watched Smallville. I, like, I've, they like... make a really good yeah, Superman They didn't even see exactly how not to do it. Yeah. Because, like, if you read, like... The exact if you read, opposite like, the, exactly. Like, because, uh... What was it? I watched, like, little videos, like, Superman versus, like, Goku. Like, who would win? And, like, somebody actually did, like, a little animated fight, but they, like, had all, like, the fucking history... Of, like, both the characters, like, behind them. And, like, Superman, like, can fly into the... F- like, actually fly into a fucking sun and, like, absorb all the power and become, like, unlimited. No. I was like, holy shit. No, because Superman dies by flying into the sun. When? In the new... In Superman All-Star, he... Well, that's... It's actually the death of Superman. The problem... You want to know the problem with, with comics is? No, because there's that, too that many fucking wrong. writers dipping wrong. their fucking little toes in the damn that pool. That wrong. Because in the comics, he can't fly into the sun. Yeah, but in the movie, he dies. He I don't care what the movie Superman. says. No, it's the end. I don't care what the movie says. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. The that's comic. the end. Yeah. It probably was a comic before they made it into a animated yeah. movie. You know, the, oh, you know what the Justice League would be? Superman comic back in the 90s. Yeah, you know what Justice League oh, would be, the movie? Hmm. It would be like an, a more awkward Watchmen. Yeah, it would. Because it would be very dark and just, I'm just like... I'm just saying, like, how cool would that be, like, with Zack Snyder, like, uh, directing in all of his special effects, like, knowledge, to have, like, fucking Superman fly into the fucking sun, absorb all the energy, and then just whoop the living shit out of someone. Yeah, and then fight Gerard Butler. Like, literally punch no, him hey, with this his finger. This would be more I want to see Superman punch somebody with his finger and the person explode, like, fucking fly Rorschach. Fly Absorb all the energy and fly out, and the sun winks out of existence, and then we all die. <laughs> well, not our sun, but he can go to some other sun. <laughs> Kill those people. <laughs> Matt, he would throw off the whole balance of the universe. <laughs> you can't do this. Besides, isn't it our sun that gives him the power? No, it's point? any sun. Well, any. I don't think any, it's any sun. Not any sun, uh. Like, our son, and, like, I guess, like, blue dwarfs or some shit like that, but, like, red dwarfs, apparently he gets weak around. Yeah. He'll, like, die. And kryptonite. And kryptonite, kryptonite yeah. Dude, Superman's a gay little bitch, dude. But, All but you like, have to do is make a like, bat, a, a Louisville slugger out of kryptonite, and just beat his ass until he's dead. Make a big kryptonite dildo. <laughs> you start 
fucking him in the ass. Yeah, just pull a girl with a dragon tattoo on him. Exactly. Kick the thing into his asshole. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what makes him like possibly like one of the worst superheroes because like theoretically, like the comics, like he's like unlimited. He has unlimited power, and he can do like fucking anything he wants. But fucking Kryptonite will like beat the shit out of him. Yeah, so you can literally make Kryptonite bullets, which I don't think they've ever done. Because that would be too easy. It might, I don't know. They, they might, might have, have but in a comic somewhere. Maybe. But dude, you just it's have a kryptonite comic for like five thousand years. So. A kryptonite machine gun and just like blast his ass. Because what is he gonna do? He can't. Like, he can't stop them because they're kryptonite. They would actually end up piercing him and hurting yeah. him. Well, he would just fly away. He's faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He just runs forever. You know. What, you know. What Superman is. Superman is like the religion of the comic world. He's like if you if you like come up with one little thing to disprove his like whatever they're like well no because he can fly faster than a bullet well no he can absorb the fucking sun well no you're like god damn it dude like I hate yeah. the nine year old who wrote Superman it's so stupid it really is I mean, I'm excited for this new movie <laughs> <laughs> me too I'm I hope not they, I hope they do take away like a lot of like the they, powers they did they, they said they did. they took out a lot of it because they were gonna I guarantee make that more. whole sun thing is completely gone they're not gonna do that shit at all that red dwarf sun power bullshit. oh no 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 no, no. Nah, that shit's gone this will be they said it's gonna be like more like if this were like real life like if this were like the basically the Batman movies well like uh did you read like what uh, uh, really reboot uh, Zack Snyder's like wife was saying about the movie because I oh, think well, she's, she's like yeah <laughs> no, she isn't she like helping in the movie as she's well? A fucking woman, dude. I don't care what I don't know what anything is. <laughs> I don't know. I think Nolan said this too, but like the whole movie was like t- supposed to be like the experience of like the people around him. It's like, how would you act if like a fucking alien, because that's what he is, yeah. like came to Earth right. and had all these powers? Like, well, let me ask you this because they already like, did that. It was, the thing I'm more probably the Earth did still. <laughs> I'm more interested in uh, what Christopher Nolan's wife said. I mean. She's the opinion that I care Right. About. We heard Zack Snyder's wife, Matt. We want to hear Christopher Nolan's wife. Now. I don't know what, what, she what did she say. I don't know. She didn't say anything. That's not a good That's sign. That's not a good sign at all. <laughs> wow. What a ringing endorsement that is. Wait, is he married? Yes. Okay. To his probably. job, probably. Yeah. yeah. No, he's married. I'm, I'm excited for his new movie, Interstellar. Yeah. What is that about? It just says it's going to be like hard sci-fi. Nice. And it's gonna have like wormholes, time travel, all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. It'll be Event Horizon too, dude. You joke, but Event Horizon two would be the greatest movie experience of all time. It might be. Matt, I don't think Matt's seen Event Horizon. But I'll leave Lawrence Fishburne. It's fantastic. Like it is fantastically amazingly good. good. Amazingly good. Event Horizon. Event Horizon. Horizon. They go through. They go through a wormhole and end up in hell. It is the fucking awesomest (laughs) movie ever made. It is. It is basically like Dead Space meets The Matrix because Lawrence Fishburne's in it. <laughs> I was going to say, if they do a sequel, Lawrence Fishburne has to come back and he has to play it as Morpheus, though. <sighs> it'd, be the, it'd be the best movie ever. Actually, I think Lawrence Fishburne should be just cast in everything, but every time, he should just be Morpheus. <laughs> like, they don't call him Morpheus or anything, but he but plays he it plays as it. Morpheus every time. Isn't that what he does? Did I'm you see Contagion? Sure. Yeah, I did. He played Morpheus. He, he did Contagion. sort of play Morpheus. He had to do with pills and stuff. There you go, there's medicine and... Uh, that's mm, that's side about. effects. Mm. Uh, Page didn't have that much to do with. Well, I guess it sort of did. It did the disease. cure. The cure. Yeah. The disease being the agents of the matrix. The cure being the one. The one. That's right. <laughs> it works for every. Everything is the matrix. <laughs> Get it? Because everything is the matrix. Everything is the matrix. Whoa. Well, batteries, Matt. So if we're all batteries and I lick a nine volt, am I licking my own dick? Pretty much. I like to think so. Hmm. Is that why it tingles? Yeah. Okay. I should tingle my dick though, not my tongue. Hmm. Mm, someone fucked up. It doesn't tingle your dick. <laughs> oh, I haven't done it in a while. Maybe if I put one battery up to my dick and the other one up to my tongue and I lick it, it'll send a little electrical charge. Whoa, Whoa, that's a good... No, put a light bulb down there. You do some science <laughs> experiments. We'll go do it after the podcast. We'll put our dicks out. Play with each other. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. That's already beaten up. <laughs> He's so excited. Uh, what are we on time? Uh, Three 50, hours. 54 minutes. 54 minutes? Shit. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. Man. We got four, hours left. Three, four hours left. Four hours left. Ugh. 
Okay, so we've beat we've beaten the Man of Steel horse in the head. Yeah, I mean, until there's a new trailer or something, there's yeah. probably not going to be much to talk about. There was not a new trailer, but a goofy version of what they called an extended look for Iron Man Three. Yeah, which was which was a bit annoying, actually. It I didn't was think annoying, it was funny. and it. I didn't think it was funny. I thought it, didn't it was annoying. Live up to what I expected. Yeah. Yeah. You saw that, right, Matt? Pretty mm-hmm. stupid. That was stupid. I I'm not that excited for Iron Man Three. Like, I go see it, but I don't... Yeah, I, don't know. I mean... I don't know. I'm more excited for Captain America, too. Yeah, I'd be, I'm excited for that. Which is weird, because he's easily my least favorite Avenger. But, I, I like him okay. But that movie was like... He's, he's good in his, in his own yeah, movie. Yeah, in his own movie, I think he's better than he is as part of the group. Although, I think in Avengers 2, I think it'll be better, because he's finally, at the end of the movie, he assumed the leadership role, finally, of the Avengers. Yeah. So, I think he'll be... The man in charge. Are they going to make, like, a, an actual, like, Hulk movie? <laughs> Did do? you not see Planet Hulk? Oh, God. I saw that. I was like, I was yeah, wondering. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Which means, you know, they would probably, that would probably mean at the end of Avengers 2, it would be whatever is going to lead him down that path to them banishing him to his own planet. Why would you banish the Hulk? Because he'll freak out. Because he freaks out and he... Yeah. Like, that's, that's oh, basically what no. they're doing because he... So then Joss Whedon will have to go back and rewrite the entire first movie because at the end of Avengers 1, he says, I'm always angry. That's the trick. Yeah. Which means that's implying that he has full total control over his anger and that he had full total control over his anger the entire movie. Yeah, so which means the scene Black Widow. where he's chasing Black Widow and freaking out was him fucking with everyone... Or it was a giant continuity error in the movie, in which case that movie sucks. <laughs> that movie is so stupid when you when you actually like when you break it down. Well, yeah, you don't even have to break it down. Just think about it. Just think about it for two seconds and just be like, oh wow, this. Is I stupid. just think about the headphone thing, the fucking the headsets. headsets, and they're like talking to each other while battling, even though they're not wearing any kind of communication device. And I don't know about you, that but that like, ruins the whole movie. For I don't me. know about you, but if there's a giant fucking worm alien like floating through the sky and shit blowing up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hear you on my little Jabra like headset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Actually, Jabra makes pretty damn good headsets. There's right? a new Bose one that's come out. Ooh, that's, gonna be, that's true. I mean, I'll hear what you say in the deepest, deepest tones. But then you'll also hear all the shit around me. Well, it's noise canceling. <laughs> <laughs> you can explain anything away. Exactly. Oh my god. You should write for Superman's comics. Uh, it's like that new thing, like Sony has in their headset where it only picks up everything in like a that's true, yeah. five inch. Like, <laughs> See, that would be more realistic if all the images had those big headsets on. And they're running around. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. They all had Master Chief helmets on. <laughs> the worm had like beats on. <laughs> <laughs> That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> that would explain the whole soundtrack for the movie, like the fight yeah. scene. <laughs> hmm. uh. Uh, let's see. Okay, so they officially confirmed that while they're doing the new trilogy of Star Wars, that they will be doing the standalone movies as well. Yeah, and they already right. they already confirmed Boba Yoda, Fett, Han Solo, saying Yoda potentially. Han Solo and Boba Fett are the first three real candidates. Here's the thing with like the Han Solo one that scares me. Like, how young are they gonna go? Are they? Oh, they're gonna go, go young Indiana Jones. Like they're gonna. They're I don't gonna think they're gonna go through it. Well, no, they, they well, have they, to. They saying, he's uh, young in the movies. He's like in his twenties. No, no they, they, they were saying like yeah, he's supposed to be in his late thirties already. He's really? supposed to be like ten years older than Luke. Oh, this supposed to be in his like late twenties. No, he's supposed to be in his mid to late thirties. Mm-hmm. Right. They were talking he's about supposed like, to have already lived quite a while and done a lot of stuff. They were talking about getting like James Franco possibly to play. <sighs> Man, I was too young. I'd, I think they were Bradley looking at that Cooper young. Bradley Cooper was one that somebody said to me. Bradley Cooper? Yeah. I just don't, I don't see it. They, yeah. They just gotta go Nathan Fillion. <laughs> they they, they really do. They just need to go Nathan Fillion with everything. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny too. He'd be like playing on solo younger but he'd be older than Harrison Ford was in the original movie. <laughs> well, hey, Yoda looked better in Star Wars 2 and 3 than he did in 1, 4, 5, and 6. Well, 1 was just ridiculous. Yeah, they tried to copy the puppetry thing. That was thing. fucking ridiculous. But, like, he, look, he was younger in 
in two oh, yeah, and three no, than he was in any of the other ones. Like, uh, including one. This is one is a stupid anomaly, and if George Lucas did anything, he should have gone back and replaced that fucking puppet with a digital fucking Yoda. Which he did. Which he did eventually. So he got one right finally. He should have just canceled Jar Jar I mean, Binks out of the movie. Jar Jar fucking Binks. Why couldn't you go ahead and do Yoda that way? But see, I don't care about this. Whatever you said, Booba Fat or whatever his name is. I don't <laughs> care about these movies. A fucking Jar Jar movie. That's what I want to see. I want to see the the what are they called? Gorgons. No, that's Gungans. that's Zelda. Zelda's Hold on. Gorgons. If they make a Boba Gungans. Fett movie, I want them to drive a Boba Fiat. Dude, that would be pretty sweet. No. Drinking bubble tea. Boba tea. <laughs> Boba tea. Boba tea. Boba tea. Boba tea. Dude, if they made oh a Boba Fett God. movie, it would be the shittiest movie <laughs> in the world. No, I think of all of them, the Boba Fett one has the most potential for interest. You know, they, they should make an R two D two movie and just show him being a dickhead the entire time because he's a little shit. Yeah. Pretty and much. then they should fucking kill him at the end. Or maybe they should make an R two D two movie where at the end of the movie. He gets his memory erased, and it somehow fits somewhere into the saga, so that it makes sense. They should make a movie about Jabba the Hutt, where it's just three hours long, and he's just eating things the entire time. Dude, I can see it. Hell yeah. I'd watch that movie. And, and then, like, a good shit scene at the end. Dude, good that'd one. be good. Yeah. Every American could relate to that. Yeah. Should just do a movie about the Max Rebo band from the cantina, and follow them along as they do, like, weddings at bar <laughs> Dude, that'd be fucking awesome! That would actually be that would be, be really that cool. would fit perfectly into like a Douglas Adams type in exactly. his world, but yeah, that'd be good. I'd, I'd actually watch that movie. And I was actually excited <laughs> for a bounty hunter movie for a bounty hunter movie. I don't want to see a Boba no, Fett I movie. Don't Boba Fett and I do. don't want to see a Boba Fett movie. Yeah, so I already know what happens to that motherfucker. Yeah, I know, but we can find out what happened between seeing him as a, a young clone loser kid. Dude, I don't care. And then seeing him he grew up on a wet planet with lots of wetness falling from the sky. His dad was a Puerto Rican. Excuse me, an Eskimo, whatever. Maori. Yeah, we you know, established he's from Hawaii. What? Maui? No, Maori. Maui. Maori. Maui. Maori. <laughs> <laughs> Marie Marie <laughs> talking about the Maori show yeah yeah that's how rednecks pronounce it right Maori yeah. that's how rednecks pronounce everything yeah, yeah. It's pretty much no it'll definitely be above with that movie I know it will I know it will cause they're gonna go out of the gate with the things people know about Jesus fuck so I would bet yeah Han Solo and Boba Fett they they need to just dip into the universe and because from what I like hear about like, like the whole like the universe of it from like the games and shit and other novels and all that stuff I'm like okay like it, there's there's some interesting stuff like they can make some cool like crap out of that yeah they can I mean it's a fertile area to be able it's to a whole just fucking universe for you to make imagination. yeah and make shit up you know, like, exactly. oh there's a planet over here that's full of these kind of dudes and you're like oh okay that works okay, okay whatever let's make a movie out of it boom. I mean, yeah. Make a, uh, uh, an Old Republic movie. Yeah, that, that would be, that would be cool. cool. Thing. It would be really cool to take it back and do the Old Republic. That would be awesome. But... Or like the first Jedi. Go way back. Mm-hmm. Go back to modern times. That's right. Today's times. Exactly. And then the, the very beginning will not say a long time ago and it got too far, far away. Yeah. It'll say happening right now. <laughs> It's <laughs> happening right now in the, in the theater near you. In the galaxy so, near you. Your galaxy. In your galaxy. Come find us. <laughs> and then it would just be... Peek-a-boo. It would just be <laughs> Total Recall. It would be really good. That's right. It would be really good. It would be awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, we're still a long way away. J.J. Uh, Abrams was saying that he doesn't even know if he can make the 2015... Deadline. Deadline that they already set. Yeah, in stone. <laughs> exactly, it's like okay. It's like uh, no, JJ, we already we already booked the we already booked the theaters for that day. Exactly. We can't go back on this. Well, GI Joe Retaliation did it. Oh, God, yeah. I'm excited about GI Joe Retaliation. 
For realsies or like to see it as a joke? See it as a joke. Yeah, I'll wait for comes on. Yeah. On HD DVD. Check that out. <sighs> I don't think there are any trailers I watched. I watched... Did you see that trailer, uh, was it, like, Upside Down or something? Yeah, I actually kind of want to see that. Yeah, it looks okay. kind of good. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. It looks interesting. It'll probably be like, a, like Looper. You know, like, weird little sci-fi kind of thing. Yeah. Under delivers in the end. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, well, that's the problem. Like, I liked Looper, but... It didn't have, like... Kristen Stewart Kristen, no. and uh, Kirsten Dunst Kirsten Dunst and like Jim Sturgis or Sturgis yeah, no, no, no. I just call him Jim Sturgeon I call him Sergeant Jim Kristen Stewart Kirsten Dunst whatever. no not whatever they're totally there's, different there's, people there's a difference there one of them's a whore and then the other one plays no one of them's flat as a boar <laughs> you know he's got flapjack titty <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> no, we we already established Kirsten Dunst. Oh, I did jack. see the first still, which was the most innocuous and benign little thing from Nymphomaniac. With the uh, uh, what's his name? Was it just two hard cocks like, <laughs> squirting at <laughs> each other? That was the thing. Like it was just <clears throat> who's in it? Charlotte Rampling. No, uh, yeah, I don't know who the chicken is. But oh, Charlotte Gainsbourg. Uh, no, wait, I don't know what her name is. Whatever. Whatever. But it was just her. Like it was a far. Like not even a medium shot, dude. This is like a long range shot, yeah. and it was just her like laying on her back in the in an alley, nobody else around. That was the first still they released, and I was just like, why? Why would you not lead with nudity? Yeah, it's called nympho fucking maniac. So like, Jesus Christ, Lars von Trier, like you losing your touch, man. I don't understand. How is that gonna get any? Is that gonna be MC seventeen when it comes out? Oh, I'm sure it will. From what I understand. Oh, man. <laughs> what I from what La <laughs> says. <laughs> Which, again, in the article, they quoted him as saying that it's full-on sex. He's like, bro, dude, this is full-on fucking. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, so, well, well, I'm excited about that. I'll have to get my ticket to, for the Angelica when that comes out, because it will not be shown in regular theaters. No, no it will not. <sighs> But I just don't, I don't know if I really care to see, like, just, like, cocks. You know? I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth right now. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I like guess. Let me rephrase that. I don't know if I really care to see LeBouf's cock. Yeah, I mean, again, he's, he's not the, the prime draw for me there. Right. Really, I mean, it's still in Skarsgård, obviously. Of course, I forgot he was in that. Yeah, never mind, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Exactly. Yeah. And hopefully he will be pumped. He will. Exactly. I'm more excited for James Franco's movie. The one with the gay sex. Yeah. That's going to be cool. That'll be interesting. That'll be fun. It'll be a fun movie to watch. Uh, Spring Break is what it was called, right? <laughs> exactly. I was, telling, I was telling the guy that I worked with about Spring Break because he had like, no idea what he was talking about. I was like, okay, just just picture like, the girls that have been on like the Disney Channel for the past five years. He's like, okay. And I'm like, all of them in bikinis. And James Franco is like a gangster with a grill. And dreads. It sounds like the best Corn movie Rose ever. <laughs> God. Hmm. <sighs> Ridiculous. Uh, let's move on to current events. Have you guys heard about the, uh, the manhunt going on in L.A. right now? The CIA the thing? cop I don't know what happened. What did he do? He released a manifesto. What manifesto? He rails against the LAPD. Because I guess he was a cop. I guess, Okay, he was a military trained marksman. <clears throat> joined the LAPD. And his training officer, I guess in... Uh, who I imagine was Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> do you get that, man? Did you ever watch Training, Training Day? Training Day? No, I just laughed because it was dense so much. <laughs> so that's really all we have to do. It's just like, it's yeah, like, it's all so watching Denny. You just don't want to laugh. laugh if you said any black actor's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but anyway, so he, uh, his story was. It's just that, ironic <laughs> that a black person would be a cop. Why are you going to be racist? <laughs> 
Why are you, you going to take us back, man? Why are you going to take us back 30 years to, to the days of uh, slavery? Let's, let's move forward with this story. My tooth is hurting. Okay. What's up? Fuck. Huh? Okay, so he joined the LAPD. He was getting trained. Mm-hmm. And I guess in the course of an arrest, um, he says that the training officer and some other officers were kicking the suspect after they had already like handcuffed them. They were laying on the ground. And so he... You know, went and told people, but then the the training officer, the other cops, the person that they arrested, all said that that never happened, and so they decided to kick him off the force for you know making up shit. I guess I don't yeah, know. whatever libel slander, whatever, whatever it's called, who cares, whatever. But anyway, so he obviously did not like that, so mm-hmm. he wrote a big long manifesto about the LAPD. And he... So manifesto is just another word for, like, I'm a bitch poem. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, like, well, like listen if to you, you like go to the little angriest poetry slam <laughs> you can think of, you're right, you're right. this would be there. Yeah. Uh, so he... I guess he started threatening people, and he said in the manifesto that he was going to kill cops and cops' families... And he did. He shot and killed <laughs> the daughter, uh, the daughter of an ex-cop, a guy who retired. He what? killed this guy's daughter and her fiance, and then he went and shot and killed an officer and wounded another officer. And now they've been hunting him for a few days, and I guess. Everybody in LA is like all panicked over it because he's a he's a sniper marksman. <laughs> oh, they all did <laughs> shit. Did they? And it's like like he got a commemorative coin, I guess, from the guy who was the head of the LAPD at the time. Let me guess. He them. melted it down, and made a bullet out of it, and he's saving it for his. No, he, oh man, that would be fucking he sweet sent, movie. He sent a packet with his manifesto. Oh shit! With a DVD and like severed head thing, and the coin wrapped in duct tape. Okay, when they unwrapped it, like on the duct tape it said, no thanks, whatever the guy's name was. They unwrapped it, and the coin had three bullet holes right in the middle of it. That means you mark for death. Yes. Basically. Holy shit. Damn. How big was this coin? Uh, this commemorative big. coins are usually like, yeah, they're pretty with, big. you know, silver dollar size. So. They're still they're they're put a big. fucking bullet. But yeah, he put a bullet, like three of them right in the middle. And they obviously could tell... <laughs> There were three. Oh my god, dude. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, so, and when does the movie come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know guns uh, getting banned. Probably in like two, three years once it's all over. Once <laughs> he kills everyone. Once <laughs> he kills everybody in LA. And turns himself in. <laughs> this really does sound like a fucking movie. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm sure it'll be made into a movie at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, the chick that does a fucking... Uh, what's the Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, Hurt Locker. Hello. Direct it. Yeah, no relation to Deuce Bigelow. No, there's some. I think okay. they're cousins. Oh, are they? Is she a female gigolo? No, she's a male gigolo. <laughs> Have you ever seen her? No. <laughs> she's. Is she a big lady? No, she's not big at all, but she's like she's kind of that athletic, wiry, muscly Ooh. kind of. Oh, woman. God. Ooh. Like, she looks like a, a man's woman. Oh. That kind of thing. <laughs> like she's been. You know. How are we on time? Hour and 13? Shit. We went to Bone Daddy's tonight. Let's get this in so we can wrap it up. Bone Daddy's House of Smoke. House of Smoke, which Matt did not know was a barbecue place. Mm-hmm. I didn't know either. True. No, because we were misinformed. That's true. Extremely misinformed. Matt, misinformed is an understatement. We were flat out lied to. I know. We were fucked tonight. <laughs> we were fucked by our mother. <laughs> <laughs> he told us that they had pasta. That they had every- she said it was basically BJ's, yeah, but better. Did. Which I was just like, no. Nah. Why did you try that? Why did you say that? Fucking fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus. <laughs> just, just like, oh shit, we never had barbecue. Okay, this sounds good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They got pasta. They got sandwiches. They got pancakes. They got all kinds of shit. Well, if, it, if I knew it was gonna be like that, we just went to Texas Roadhouse or some shit like that. Texas Damn. Roadhouse doesn't have barbecue. I don't care, but I could have gotten a steak for like $12. I could have gotten barbecue tonight like I did, so that would work out for me. 
<laughs> I looked at those beans on the fucking eating that. Right. You could have you gotten something besides the beans. You could have been like, yeah, instead of beans, can I get Honestly, I was like, more burger? <laughs> After the hamburger, I was like, so full. You bitch, dude. You can't eat your food. Dude, Look at like a child. Like Big hamburger. You weren't eating something when I came walking in the fucking yeah, door. Well, little hot we dog. We were on our way to the fucking You had a dinner. whole hot dog and then yeah. you had a hamburger. Yeah, but I was really, really hungry, so the hot dog didn't really count. <laughs> It still counts. You gotta log it into your little fucking diary. <sighs> That's diarrhea. That's great. Ladies. Okay, Matt, what did you have? Tell the people at home. I had the half pound cheeseburger with no cheese. So a hamburger. A hamburger, yes. <laughs> okay. No ham, though. Just beef. No ham, just burger. At least I order a hamburger, I'm gonna say, uh, can I get that without ham, though? I want 100% beef. And just watch them look at me and be like, what? This guy's real smart. Pretty That's probably sure, what I'm pretty sure a waitress at that kind of place would be like, sure, no problem. Yeah, she would. <laughs> they were stupid over there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they were the brightest girls. They're working there. But they had other assets. Not really. So yeah. Some of them were okay. I didn't see any. That's because they were behind you most of the time. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> there was one that was walking around that had nice tits, nice ass. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, oh, I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, but when they got up on the stripper poles, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And the part where you made the one the waitress sit on my lap. Yeah. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bought you a lap dance. That's the whole point. Yeah. She was grinding all over you. <laughs> Trust me, this daddy had a bone. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that was another disturbing thing. What? I went to the bathroom. Okay. Uh oh. You know, they, they mark bathrooms, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Was one a cock and the other one was a vagina? No. Oh, that would have been cool. The, the men's was called Daddy's. Uh, the uh, other one, daughters? the women was called Daddy's Girls. Oh, no. Yeah. That's disturbing. Oh, that is. No. Only in Texas, to be honest. Only in Texas, yeah. Because, like, imagine if the dad had to go to the bathroom and the daughter's like, oh, I have to go too. Oh, and then they both came out at the same time and held hands. Just, oh, honestly, it was like and they fucked her right there in the restaurant. Yeah. Well, I'm just worried because, like, when you go into the men's bathroom, because the men's is here and the women's is right next to it. Glory holes too. When I put put my dick through the glory hole, I'm you don't not want sure your daughter actually. Yeah, you don't want your daughter's side. Yeah, maybe I mean, you do. I don't maybe know. Maybe you do. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe that's the point. You can't you can't see it, so it didn't really happen. But right. It really did, and you really. If it no it. no, it's not intense if I don't if I don't know who's doing it. It's true. That's the rule. And it, it ain't gay if it is, if it's my dick is getting sucked. Speaking of incest. Sure. <laughs> a topic Have you guys ever seen very... a Serbian film? <laughs> no. Serbian? <Symbian>? What? <laughs> only, only Matt. <laughs> it's Sibian. <laughs> a Sibian film? No. It's called a Serbian film. Serbian. No. You've not seen it? No. It sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard a joke about this. You need to watch it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can, is it something I can rent? Yeah. Well. Mm, or is it something I'm going to have to go... You might like, have to actually like, go find... You might have to black hole this bad boy on the internet? You might. I mean, I know it's like available for purchase, but I don't know if any of them will carry it to rent. Because I know Netflix said they would never carry it. What is it? It's obviously something to do with incest. There's parts that are, yeah. Okay. Dude, I gotta watch this movie. I have, I have a list yeah, of like of disturbing fucking movies I need to watch. Um, which people keep saying Cannibal Holocaust I need to watch. Cannibal Holocaust. <clears throat> yeah. I watched Freak Show. That was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. That was a stupidly excellent movie. <laughs> that okay, so I gotta watch a Serbian film. Serbian film. It's a film called Martyrs. Ooh. Um... Salo, 120 Days of Sodom. And Gamora? No, that's the actual name of it. Salo, 120 Days of Sodom. Okay. El Topo. Okay, but what's the Serbian film about? I don't... I can't... Describing it doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> I will say that there are two scenes in it. Hold on, before we go any, any further. What'd you have? 
I had brisket, chopped brisket, and <laughs> ham <laughs> with mashed potatoes, biscuit, and fries. You go. I had sausage and chopped brisket with french fries and mac and cheese and a cheese roll biscuit thing. Dr. Pepper for you and Matt. Coke for me. Serbian film, go. Okay, Serbian film. I'm not really going to describe what it is because you really don't <coughs> need to watch. But I'm going to say that there is a scene in it mm-hmm. in which a man mm-hmm. fucks his six-year-old son mm-hmm. without him knowing. <laughs> Was he asleep? Was he so you got to watch it. And there's a scene in it in which a it's a film within a film. And in this film, um, this director film this woman giving birth and after the baby comes out someone comes in and fucks it and it's newborn porn and it actually happens on screen what? you gotta watch this movie <laughs> you gotta watch this movie I don't even wanna watch this movie no, I'm gonna watch, watch it, it. Feel like it's the watch real it. I'm gonna watch it yeah it'll mess you up no, I'm not watching that. Wait, what That's is this Here's another, like some third Here's another little scene for you. Yeah. Uh, a guy gets killed. He is killed by a guy ramming his cock into his eye socket. And he fucks him to death in his eye socket. Where is this happening? <laughs> Dude, this, this sounds better like not be Japan. Because they already got the hairy crotches no, and shit. It's not. Dude, this sounds like the best movie ever made. This is one of the most fucked up movies. Is this like ever. is this like in like some like corner of the world or something? Like yeah. where? Where was it made? Serbia. Yeah. Okay, I figured. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's crazy. I gotta watch this movie. Yeah, watch it. Now, should I watch it with the character? We might. Oh make, my god. Should we make popcorn and watch it together? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's my homework for this week. Yes. Just don't, next, don't, don't tell her what it's about. Just pop. No, yeah, don't movie. tell her what it's about at all. I just, I, hey, I heard it was but like, really do I, It's a document, like, yeah, document you gotta do it on like, like, Serbia. Tuesday, so before oh, this no. comes out, and she might have a chance to listen to this conversation, you gotta do it before that. She won't listen to it because she hasn't caught up yet, so. Alright, good. Because you gotta yeah. find it first. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be difficult. Is it like banned I'm sure in all the countries or something? It's probably It's banned in a lot of countries. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> I know Cannibal Holocaust is banned in a lot of countries. Yeah, time. but this not is banned here. This is more disturbing than Cannibal Holocaust. Is yeah, it the no. most disturbing film? It is besides one, real shit. It is one of the most disturbing things I have ever seen. Probably not the most disturbing thing I've ever seen because I saw the Chapter Black video. Okay, in terms of like fictionalized stuff. Okay, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I got 10 yeah. seconds into that into the video, which is 30 minutes long, and I had to turn it off. Who was it? So I've explained this before. It's amazing. And it'll, it's a it's a hunt to find this, like, on, on the internet. And, like, James didn't, James didn't believe me when I told him, but then I guess one of his friends finds out. Anyways, in Yu Yu Hakusho, in one of the, the, one of the sagas is called the Chapter Black Saga. And in the, in the, like, one of the episodes, the villains, they have this VHS tape, and they're watching this, like, video, and... In the show, the the video that they're watching is called the Chapter Black video. It's it is the most gruesome crimes that humanity has ever committed that has ever been filmed, put into a like into one video. Yeah. A fan of Yu Yu Hakusho in the real world made his own Chapter Black video, and like took like I guess like four or five years and compiled the worst crimes ever committed by humanity that were like real like real footage, put it in a 30 minute long video and the whole premise of the video was that it would start off with the easiest to handle like video like footage whatever and it would get progressively worse as it went on within 10 seconds there was a baby on a table and a hand with a screwdriver coming into the frame and I turned it off that was like the first fucking video was just a dude like obliterating a baby with a fucking screwdriver and I was like, I, I couldn't do it. I turned it off. And how many seconds was it? Like 10 seconds in. No, we put like the entire film. Was 30 like... minutes. <laughs> Shit. So like, and it's like, I don't, I, don't know know. Got, I don't know if it got worse in like, in actual, like, in like, visionary, like, you um, know what I mean? I'm pretty sure no, I'm like, I think the, I think the whole thing was like, not that it was going to get worse as in like, disturbing images, but like, worse in like, what the crime was. 
like no, like but raping, I would, I would, like I think rape would like be worse than murder in like the eyes of whoever made this video, and like I don't know. So there there could have been like a scene where a dude rapes his like two year old daughter or some shit and kills her because that did happen. That that one guy raped his two year old and killed her. His dick just scrambled her insides. Ooh. That's disgusting. <laughs> There's a police report on that, too. The dude's dick just had, like, guts all over it. And she was basically like a hollowed-out pumpkin. We went dark on this episode. God, that's so disgusting. <laughs> all right. You listen, to, you like, listen to three stuff. <laughs> well, I was just... No, it was because I was reading... I was on the AV club today, like, yeah. killing time. I was on the Serbian fan. <laughs> just watching in your cubicle. I was oh. on the Serbian fan. The Serbian well, film fan for you just sharpening your pens. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing pens a pen pen in the room. Sharpening your pens. <laughs> I sharpened my pens. Um, but no, like, one of their columns that they do on there is um, New Cult. And it's basically, like, newer films that have a cult status now. Yeah. And so the, I was just going through, like, reading their list and stuff, and they were listing, you know, because I've seen, I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. There were a couple on there I hadn't seen, but... Um, none of them like those. <laughs> those were like, yeah. but yeah. Alright, were... I gotta watch this movie. Yeah. I can watch it if I know it's a movie. I can't watch it if it's, yeah. if it's real. Uh, yeah, I agree. And that's the thing, too. This The chapter black thing, like, it might not even be real. Like, it could not... I, I, it has the potential <clears throat> of not being real footage. Right. There's always a possibility. But it was not something I was willing to... See, I think, I think, they, I think they should use the chapter black movie as, like, a, um... You know how people are always like, oh, like, media, like, influences people? I'm like, okay, well, we'll take, like, something that's fake, like, obviously, like, the person knows it's just a movie, and we'll have them watch it, and then we'll take the, the chapter black DVD and like, this is real life, and then have them watch that and have them freak out and be like, okay, like, you still have your morality and your, uh, like, your well, we don't know that. Now, I think we should just clockwork orange this bitch and, like, prop people's eyes open and make them watch the whole thing chapter black <laughs> for five days straight <laughs> <laughs> they would be the most fucked up human beings ever they would be, exactly they, I, I think you, your brain would just turn to pudding afterwards <laughs> you just fucking oh, the pudding bro <laughs> But what if? But no, it's a way, no, it's a, so that's what happened with Bill Cosby. It's a good way to figure out who's trying to play DVD. <laughs> it's a good barometer to use to figure out who the sociopaths and psychopaths are. So if Matt makes it through thirty minutes, we know he is a sociopath. Right. I think that's if what he the- makes it through five hours, <laughs> laughing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> then he's completely normal. <laughs> it's fine. It's just old man. <laughs> exactly. Oh god. Hmm. Because like he says YouTube like you know the little YouTube reaction videos? Like, oh, I'm gonna film myself watching two girls one cup for the first time and like they're all like Oh god no and I'm just like that is nothing. So oh, I know. Oh that is nothing compared to <laughs> We should we compared should. to what is just literally a click away. Right? We should we should <laughs> Film a bunch of uh, fictionalized reaction videos to people watching Chapter Black. Yeah, and it should always end with them killing themselves. <laughs> yeah, no, we should do no. We should make our own like two girls one cup like reaction or like something like that. But like after we're making the like face, like oh my god, we cut in a scene from the Chapter Black DVD. <laughs> Like some dude with the, the screwdriver and the baby. Oh, God. And then people go, ah! But then we hack into their webcam yeah, at that minute around. and we record oh, them. It'd it. be awesome. What the fuck was that? That was kind of making out of now. Jim Carrey's ghost. <laughs> Jim Carrey's ghost. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we, well, we should wrap it up. We have a missed call. Uh, an 888 number. Yeah, I had one of those too. Maybe it's the government. <sighs> like we heard you found the chapter black video. <laughs> We've been trying to get on and get our hands on a copy. You know? I feel like they might have made like military people watch that movie to desensitize them to warfare. Maybe. They come out all fucked up. I'm like, you saw something. <laughs> the chapter black DVD. Probably. Probably POWs and they played that shit. <laughs> like, shh. 
That's probably what they what they make them watch in the military. Yeah, I don't know now. I have to look this up now. Like Fuck, I'm like intrigued. It's like my, the curiosity is I just like. see how long Matt can go. Good luck finding it. Is it really hard to find? Yeah, it's like illegal. Did you get rid of your copy? What? Did you get rid of your copy? No, it was online. Yeah. I never had like a, an actual copy of it. Uh, what was it called? Chapter, Chapter Black video. But you're going to get a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho like results. You know, they won the first things they killed. Alright. Yeah, yeah one right. one hour video compilation of real gore gore porn, gore, human tragedy. It's on the Pirate Bay. <laughs> it's like the first link. Dude, careful though. I don't know if I would download it if I were you. Why? I don't know, just be careful. That shit's illegal. I mean it's Why is it illegal? Because there's like some things you just can't have like fucking footage of, especially if it has underage porn in it, yeah. which it most likely it does. does. No, no, actually, it is it is legal for you to download videos of that shit as long as you're not uploading it. That's the law. So like like somebody so like a person could watch like all that shit. No. I just yeah yeah no. yeah. No. Look no, up the law. People get Look caught with pictures on their computers. Have it in well, your that's, well, that's, well, that's different because they're assuming that you took the pictures. But like if you just have, no. but like if you just watch it, if you just watch it, actually you're Matt, not, this you're is a gray area. I would not even fuck with. <laughs> I wouldn't even bother. Yeah. Like with the, I wouldn't try and. Jesus Christ! And they must have. It must be an update because when I saw it, it was thirty minutes. That's disturbing. I don't watch an hour long of that. <laughs> thirty minutes I can handle. <laughs> an hour is pushing it. Uh, I'm saying, I want to see like a little tidbit of it. Do you still have it or no? No, no, because I, I watched it on the website. Like it uh, was like a. It was like a. It was a search. I had to like fucking hunt it down, and I finally got to it. It was literally just a page, a web page. That's mm. URL was like a stream of letters and numbers, like random shit, and it just had oh. the embedded video in there. Hold on. And just said like chapter black on it. I find it under videos on Google. It's on YouTube. Just go to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it probably is. It is, dude. All right. So while Matt, <laughs> while Matt uh, takes his underwear off and <laughs> he off prepares for his long night of. <laughs> Chapter Black. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not gonna watch it. Alright, so am I just pussy that? <laughs> you tell me not to download seconds. this shit and like. Yeah, I wouldn't download it if you can find it to watch. So go ahead. I mean. Yeah, no. Don't download it though, because that whole, that whole thing with the possession of uploading, download, whatever, is too much of a gray area yeah, to actually, fuck with. You know, it might give us something to talk about. Like, <laughs> 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 it's arrested in jail. <laughs> <laughs> that's a waiting trial right now. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, so <coughs> three stuff guys at gmail dot com is our email. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. wait. We gotta talk about what I left on the receipt. <laughs> okay. okay. So we Blake wrote down on his receipt the web address for our podcast, mm-hmm. our recent <coughs> address. And then on my receipt, I wrote down our email address, uh, and then we both wrote thanks, and then Blake drew a smiley face on his to show how happy he was about the service and stuff like that, and I proceeded to draw a smiley face that then grew into um, more of a caricature um, which then Blake uh, told me to draw a tie for some reason. His look classier. <laughs> I guess. I guess I should have drawn a bow tie. That probably would have been super classy. Yeah. But I tried to draw a regular tie and I got the little proportion wrong for the knot. And so. <laughs> <laughs> and your, tie, your tie was straight and then pointed at the, at the bottom. Well, yeah, I, was, I was doing the tapered point. I know, but it was. I know, but it was it was like too straight. Like well, ties don't like jig and jig. They, they go like this. They separate a little bit, and then they. Well, it did. Barely, like it was. The point is, it looked pretty damn straight. Go. Well, yeah, I didn't draw like from the knot. I didn't draw it back out and then down, and then I just went like <laughs> so. The knot was there, and then straight down into a point. Which so it's like an eighties like you know really thin tie. That's what it basically yeah, yeah. was. Okay. Okay. But I didn't like the way it looked, so <laughs> I started to 
to actually like blacken out where the the knot was, which is right under the neck. Okay, and then as, <laughs> as soon as I was done, I looked at it and went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it looked like a severed head <laughs> sitting on the top of a spike. Which is obviously a gang threat to this woman's life. <laughs> and so I decided to leave it. <laughs> As a warning. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we, we need to check our email. Yeah, we might have some. Tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. But, yeah, so... Hmm. This would be fucking emails from Frisco PD. And Probably. <laughs> Sir, what is the meaning of this drawing? Oh, <laughs> uh, well... That's a... Uh, it was supposed to be a guy with a tie. And <laughs> no, sir, we've seen these popping up all over the nation. I'm like, really? Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Well, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I'm on the lamb. <laughs> you hang up on your emails? Of course. And? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so, yeah. So that was fun. So that was funny. <laughs> Uh, mostly because I didn't even purposely mean to do that, but that made it even funnier. <laughs> and I can only imagine what her reaction will be. Just utter fear. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure she's going to be like, oh my god, I knew he was a psycho from the moment he sat down. And I'll be like, oh. What makes it so amazing, too, is that you put down our email, so it's like, you put down the email, a fucking severed head on a spike... <laughs> and, then, and then a big thanks exclamation. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, but again, she could interpret it the way that you interpreted it, looking at it from the other view. Yeah, if you look at it upside down, it looks like a dick. It looks like a dick with a hairy out of with, his a, head. with a hairy bush coming out of the, his head. <laughs> so either way, she probably thinks I'm a psycho. It's just three things that don't go together. Right. It's a very confusing like zodiac puzzle that she's got to figure out. It's pretty funny. I'm excited about. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some sort of response. Hopefully, that ends up on the chapter black video. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Pretty sweet. Probably number one, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, you gotta start out somewhere. Yeah. All right. So, three stuff guys at gmail dot com is our email. Send us emails, please. Thank you. Uh, three stuff guys. Dot Send us um, your drawings of severed heads on spikes. <laughs> We would love those. We would love those. Please, no pictures of real severed heads on spikes. No, we have Chapter Black for that. Yeah, submit that to the Chapter Black YouTube page, which you can go to at youtube.com slash Chapter Black. Right, and I'm pretty sure Chapter Black at gmail.com. <laughs> if it's not, we'll make it. If it's not, then just, yeah, we'll, we'll get it to them. Don't worry. We know the guys who do it. <laughs> God, I don't want to receive that shit. <laughs> Three stuff guys dot libsyn l i b s y n dot com is the host of our podcast, um, and they put it up on iTunes. So if you search three stuff guys on iTunes, you can find our podcast on there and subscribe and rate it and comment and do all that shit. Um, YouTube dot com slash three stuff guys where we have all the episodes and you can whatever same thing as iTunes and then facebook.com and twitter.com slash three stuff guys um are those pages as well there's anything uh Raphael Chellen does the theme song get stuffed off the unreleased album Donuts Bacon's Cookies Chapter Black and Chapter Black and Seven Heads and Seven Heads yeah <laughs> it's, a, it's a long title but uh it's pretty it's effective yeah really captures the mood of the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's everything. And then the app is still coming out, so whenever that, they fucking upload that thing. Jesus. Yeah. It's taking them a while. So that's it. And whenever Matt is ready to end it... <laughs> Jesus. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs>